Peter Valley and your YouTube psychic. Card of the day. Readings. Unboxings. Your daily source for things arcane. Hey everyone, 2000 here, and in today's video, it's got it all. We have a powerful family, we have love, betrayal, marriage, children, government scandal, murder, and suicide. So, if that's something you're interested in, then stay tuned. And yes, of course, we are talking about the Greystone Mansion murder. The players are Edward Doheny Sr., Carrie Luella Wilkins Doheny, Edward or Ned Doheny Jr., Hugh Plunkett, Lucy Doheny. And today's story starts with, uh, you know, Carrie Luella uh, Wilkins Doheny committed suicide six months after her and her husband, Edward Doheny Sr., divorced. This was when Ned was six. And Ned was then raised by his then stepmother, Carrie Estella Betzold Doheny. Edward Doheny Sr. was a very well to do oil tycoon in Los Angeles. He was interested in drilling for oil on federal lands. Enter Teapot Dome, Montana. So, Edward Doheny Sr. asked his son Ned and his secretary, Hugh Plunkett, to go to the bank and get $100,000 to be given to the Secretary of Interior. This is what prompted the biggest scandal in U.S. politics before Watergate. The Teapot Dome scandal would play out over several years. When everything came to light and the trial was ramping up, Ned received immunity. Plunkett, however, did not. It was believed that Plunkett felt he was being set up for the fall, and it was said that he was going through a breakdown. Now, Sr. had Greystone Mansion built for his son as a wedding present for him, his wife Lucy, and their five children. Most in the town say that it was an apology gift for including him in the scandal. Now, the family had only spent five months in the mansion when Plunkett showed up on February 16th at 9.30 p.m. and let himself in. Now, Hugh had his own key, and it wasn't uncommon for him to be there. So, Hugh and Ned were having drinks in a guest bedroom. No one knows exactly what transpired in those hours, but Ned's wife was uh, reading magazines and said she heard a gunshot. Now, instead of calling the police, she called the family doctor, and the doctor stated that Hugh had killed Ned and then killed himself. Now, the police were called three hours after the deaths of the two men. There were several inconsistencies in Lucy's and the doctor's story, however. Gunpowder residue was on Ned, Ned's entry wound, and not Hugh's. Hugh was shot execution style in the back of the head. This would indicate that Ned shot Hugh and then killed himself. Now when the police arrived, the bodies were moved, and they had noticed that the gun was wiped clean of prints and was hot as if it had been in the oven. The case was closed in two days and swept under the rug. Now, the story given was that Plunkett was losing his mind because he thought he was going to prison and that he shot Ned and then himself out of fear and or jealousy. Now, popular opinion states that they were lovers and that Ned killed Hugh so he wouldn't have to go to prison and then killed himself because he could not live without Hugh. Now, one of the things that adds to the scandal is the fact that um, the Doheny family was highly religious. So if anyone had killed themselves, um, they would not receive a proper burial. Um, so, the family had a huge plot, and Ned is not in that plot. Ned is actually located in <coughs> a cemetery above ground in a um, sarcophagus type thing. Now, um, another thing is that Ned and Hugh 
are very close together in the cemetery. Um, so, now we're going to get on with the readings. Hey everyone, it's time for the reading. So, uh, my husband said that I was relying too much on writing everything down. Um, so, this video is probably going to be everywhere, go everywhere. And God only knows if I'm going to get the questions answered, I want it answered. Um, so, uh, before we start, I do have to say that uh, this is uh, all alleged. Anything I say is may not is not the truth. Um, it is meant for entertainment purposes only. And um, this is the part of the video that I did not do research on. Um, the questions that I've come up with are just questions that I have concerning, um, you know, the uh, the uh, murder. So we're going to get into it, and um, I don't have anything written down. Um, we're just going to wing it and see how it goes since I rely too much on it. And it's mainly because I, uh, I get distracted. But we'll see what happens. Whoops. Now normally I would take that into account, but there's so many of them. We'll just start over. And I do apologize for uh, the fact that it's probably shaky. Um, my cat jumped up on the uh, kitchen table and knocked off my uh, tripod and broke one of the legs. So that's why it's more shaky because that leg is broken. So, we're going to be doing a five card layout, yes or no questions, and in some cases I will be reading deeper into them. So, the first question I'm going to ask is, did Ned, that's the son, uh, murder uh, Hugh, the secretary and or best friend? Yes, Ned did shoot and kill Hugh. Um, did Ned kill himself? No, he did not. Um, was Ned and Hugh in a relationship? Yes, they were. Was Ned bisexual? No, he was not. He was hiding him true his true self. He was in a bad relationship that he didn't want to be in. That's the ob obstacle, and the effect was a loveless marriage. Did Ned love Hugh? Yes. Did Ned kill Hugh to keep him from having to go to prison? No. No. <clears throat> Although this is what I call the prison card, the only thing is that it's a prison of the mind. Um, with the card reversed, it could be literal prison. So he probably was going to jail. Why else would Ned have killed you? Did Hugh break up with Ned that night? Yes. 
Yes, he did. Is that why Ned killed Hugh? Yes. He didn't want to start over. <sighs> okay. Did Lucy know that Ned and Hugh were a couple? Yes, she did. There were no secrets. Did Lucy kill Hugh? Yes. Did Ned find Hugh dead? Yes, he did. Is that why Hugh, Ned killed himself? Nope. Hmm. He was highly emotional and he didn't think everything was going to be alright because his lover was dead and his wife most likely had done the killing. Was uh, Ned homosexual? Yes. Was Hugh homosexual? Yes. Hugh's life was falling apart. And there was a lot of conflict. Most likely, I think Lucy found out about them and was causing several issues. Um, I'm almost out of cards, so instead of you know shuffling again for God knows how long, um, I'm going to go ahead and end this right here. I can pretty much say that as per the cards, I would say that most likely Hugh was going to break up with Ned because his life was falling apart and with all the conflict going on he needed to take a step back. He was overburdened. <clears throat> Emotionally distraught. So he went there to tell Ned um, I don't know what happened in the room, but apparently it appears that either Ned or Lucy killed Hugh. The reason I was thinking um, Ned could have done it is because uh, Hugh apparently looked like he was about to break up with him. The reason I think Lucy could have done it was because she found out that him, he and Ned were a couple. And um, from that, um, it looks like that's going to be it. And Ned killed himself because uh, he found uh, Hugh dead. And of course, the only person in the house that could have done it would have been Lucy if he didn't do it. Um, so, if you have any questions, feel free to comment down below. And um, I'm really good at looking at the comments. Um, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Again, I do more content on uh, Mondays, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Thanks for watching the video and have a great day. Thanks for watching today's video. 
If you'd like to order your own reading please visit me at tarotbiterthalian.tk. Don't forget to subscribe to my content.